Hey everyone, I've had multiple people message me over the past few weeks expressing confusion about Autopilot, the individual features which make up the Autopilot suite, and which Autopilot hardware versions are required for which features. The confusion is completely understandable, given that the sales end of Tesla's website doesn't do the greatest job of explaining the details, and Tesla's support pages are somewhat better, but most of the more detailed information that's on them is focused on current Autopilot hardware, which isn't particularly helpful to those shopping for older Teslas. Autopilot is a suite of driver assistance features that's broken into two categories, Autopilot safety features and Autopilot convenience features. Autopilot safety features are things like forward collision alert, automatic emergency braking, side collision avoidance, lane departure warning, obstacle aware acceleration, and, and so on. This set of active safety features is standard on all Teslas equipped with Autopilot hardware, but which features you get is dependent on the version of the Autopilot hardware that the car is equipped with. Autopilot convenience features, on the other hand, are things like traffic aware cruise control, auto steer, automatic lane change, navigate on autopilot, auto park, and summon. Just like with the safety features, which convenience features that you get and how well they work depends on the car's autopilot hardware version. As a general reminder, Tesla doesn't use the conventional vehicle model year system that we're also accustomed to. Instead, Tesla continually makes changes to their cars so it's often important to know which month and sometimes even which week a car was produced. To find a Tesla's month and year of production, simply check the sticker on the driver's side door jam. Let's start things off with the earliest Tesla, the Roadster. It had a steering wheel. Right. Moving on to the earliest Model S, produced from 2012 to August 2014, these cars didn't have autopilot hardware and therefore lack autopilot safety and convenience features. There are no exterior cameras present, aside from the backup camera, no radar, and some don't even have basic ultrasonic parking sensors. These older Teslas also lack any form of traffic wear or adaptive cruise control. You just get standard old cruise control and that's it. Autopilot Hardware One was the first version of Tesla's Autopilot system. It can be found on both Model S and Model X, produced between September 2014 and October 2016, and can easily be identified by its single forward-looking camera located at the top center of the windshield. Unlike earlier Teslas, all Hardware One cars are equipped with an improved set of ultrasonic parking sensors that are capable of measuring the distance to and approximate location of nearby obstacles relative to the car's bumpers. Due to the limited sensor suite and processing capabilities, most of Tesla's recent active safety features aren't available in Hardware One cars. The included autopilot safety features are limited to forward collision alert, automatic emergency braking, and lane departure warning. Autopilot convenience features, if active, are limited to traffic aware cruise control, auto steer, basic automatic lane change, auto park, and basic summon. If these features aren't active in the car you're looking at, they can be purchased from Tesla at any time. It's important to remember that autopilot features in hardware one cars will be less capable than similarly named features in later Teslas. For example, Auto steer won't be able to lane keep as well in complex situations with poorly defined lane markings or in situations with high road curvature, and it should never be used on surface streets or undivided highways. Auto lane change in hardware one cars must be manually activated, and it lacks the appropriate sensors and processing to determine if a lane change is safe, so that determination is entirely up to you, the driver. Hardware One's functionality is pretty much frozen at this point, so don't expect any new autopilot features to show up via over-the-air software updates. Autopilot Hardware 2 Plus cars feature either Hardware 2, 2.5, or Hardware 3. These hardware versions can be found in Model S, Model X, and Model 3, produced from October 2016 to the present day, and can be identified by the three forward-facing cameras at the top center of the windshield, two rear-facing cameras, one located in either side repeater, and two forward-facing B-pillar cameras. Hardware 2 Plus cars are all equipped with a further improved set of ultrasonic sensors that allow for obstacle detection at a much greater range, about 8 meters. Hardware 2 Plus cars are equipped with all current active safety features, including forward collision alert, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, side collision alert, obstacle aware acceleration, blind spot monitoring, lane departure avoidance, and emergency lane departure avoidance. 
all current autopilot convenience features, traffic aware cruise control, auto steer, auto lane change, confirmationless auto lane change, navigate on autopilot, auto park, and summon are available to hardware 2 plus cars depending on their software package configuration. Until February 26, 2019, Hardware 2 Plus cars were sold with the option of no autopilot, so safety features only, enhanced autopilot, and the full self-driving package, which wasn't listed as anything other than a pre-order for undefined future functionality. The full self-driving package did disappear for a while in that period, but that isn't really relevant here. Cars with the Enhanced Autopilot package get all of the current Autopilot functionality plus the upcoming Enhanced Summon functionality. They won't get future functionality like Navigate on Autopilot on surface streets unless they also have the full self-driving package, which can be purchased at any time for however much Elon thinks it's worth on that day. Hardware 2 Plus cars sold after February 26, 2019 all include both Autopilot safety features and a basic set of autopilot convenience features as standard. The basic convenience features for these cars are limited to traffic aware cruise control, auto steer, and that's it. All other convenience features like summon, navigate on autopilot, auto lane change, all that sort of stuff, were moved into the full self-driving package. So if you want all of those goodies on a new car, then you have to get the full self-driving package. I'm referring to all Hardware 2 and later Teslas as Hardware 2 Plus because I'm lumping Hardware 2, what became known as Hardware 2.5, and Hardware 3 into a single category, since the current functionality across the three configurations is very similar for the time being, with a few exceptions. And both Hardware 2 and Hardware 2.5 cars can be upgraded to the new Hardware 3 computer with the purchase of the full self-driving package, though retrofits have yet to start. That's supposed to happen maybe sometime later this year. Features like Sentry Mode require at least Hardware 2.5, which means that they're only available in Model S and Model X, built after August 2017. There may be more feature differentiation between Hardware 2 and Hardware 2.5 cars in the future because of camera and power steering rack changes that occurred at the same time as the autopilot computer upgrade, but that has yet to be seen. All Model 3s, on the other hand, have at least Hardware 2.5, with the Hardware 3 changeover having occurred around mid-April 2019. The Hardware 3 changeover for the Model S and Model X occurred around late March 2019. There wasn't that easy and simple. That's about it for this video. Tesla changes so much so frequently that it's likely I missed a few things. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about all of Tesla's autopilot configuration changes. Just don't ask about the pricing changes, please. That's a, a real mess. And as always, I'll see you later.